And look who's back home. It's actually the next day because I, I stopped playing yesterday. Um, and so this morning I got up and, and found my way back home from the nether portal. And here we are, which feels great. Um, I just emptied out my inventory really quick, cleaned things up again, got all my diamond gear. Excuse me. Except for my pickaxe, which is still in the nether. I enchanted up a bow as well. I was hoping to get infinity just because I was running low on arrows. Um, but I ended up just crafting it with this and it ended up being a super awesome bow with power four and punch two. So that's definitely okay with. And then I just crafted up a bunch of arrows cause I had feathers and, and flint and stuff. So I worked out just fine. And I, I decided to grab some golden apples, um, to bring along with me. I figured that would be a good idea. We can get some regeneration stuff there. Um, just because I have so many other apples for the villagers and hopefully I can get some more golden stuff while we're down there. Uh, so yeah, one thing we might want to do as well, just because this portal over here by my beetroot farm isn't connected, probably won't be connected to the one um, in the wall, the one that I moved. So it'll hopefully generate another one and it might be the one over the lava pool. Again, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, essentially we'll just kind of see. And then, but I do want to have another nether, nether portal, essentially is what I'm saying, is I want to have a different one and then I'll just build a big tunnel to the bastion. That's that's what I want. So I don't I don't like where the current nether portal is at in the nether, that one that I built in the wall. Um, so I want to move it. Okay, let's just see where are we at here. Okay, so it did link with that one. I didn't check to see what the coordinates are. Dang it. Okay, hold on, give me a second. Okay, so I got the calculations I need, or the coordinates, I guess. Um, so it looks like 74, negative 189 is where I want to put this portal, just because I want it to link not to the current one there. I'll leave that one steel just in case. 74, negative 189, is that what I said? Yeah. Um, so let's mine down th this down really quick and move this over to the other one because I want it to link um, back up with the one back near my home and just kind of if it's over the lava pool so be it i'm okay with that you know i kind of just admitted it at this point in time and once because once we get this stuff built up like if we get enough cobblestone platforming and things and it'll be safe I'll, i just have to do it um, and then once that's done i can you know i still have this tunnel here from this nether portal over to the bastion so i'll just connect this spot up this little hub with the nether portal that i'm gonna make and then yeah we'll be off I guess we'll, I won't bore you with the details or the specifics on that, so I'll catch up in a minute. Okay, I had to stop mining and record really quick. Look at what I found! Look, look at this! These are the first pieces of ancient debris that I have ever found on Minecraft. I was just literally... Let, let me show you, let me show you. This is the spot that the nether portal was at. I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna mine to negative, or to 74, negative 189 or whatever. And I just kinda started picking a direction and mining. Look at this. There's at least two pieces right here. Two, I think. How cool is that? Maybe we'll get some netherite gear here pretty soon. That would be awesome. Feeling on top of the world right there. No way. Well, that's pretty exciting. Well, yeah, that's pretty cool. Do have to admit, I'm excited about that. So there's only two pieces there. So I don't have a netherite ingot yet, but. Who knows, maybe we'll find some more, I don't know. I didn't know what spawned at this level. So that's pretty exciting. So I guess we'll go and mine this. I'm assuming a diamond pickaxe will do just, yeah, it'll do just fine. Um, that's way sweet. Well, I guess we'll keep our eyes out for some more nether, or uh, not nether, or ancient debris and craft up some netherite gear. Well, anyway, I just wanted to, to jump in there and, and say how cool that was. Okay, so I got the spot all picked out. I built this cobblestone tunnel. It was over the lava lake, which is kind of what I figured. It's not too far from the other one either. You can see it just right over there. So I'm hoping that this one doesn't link to that one in the cave. It's broken right now. The one in the cave is, I'm pretty sure. So hopefully this will link to the one back at home, just the one behind my beetroot farm. Fingers crossed. It always seems to be nighttime when I step out of the portal too. So, okay, that looks good. Okay, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. So we made it back to this one. And then if we go back through... Fingers crossed. Moment of truth. Big moment right here. Sometimes it takes way too long. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're in business. We got our nether portal set up. It's in a good enough position for 
both in the overworld and in the nether, and then I can just follow this tunnel and take it essentially right to the bastion. I'll have to explore around a little bit. Um, I try to finalize the tunnel, so essentially it's just less dangerous in general. Uh, but yeah, there it is. There it is. I'll bring this along too. Um, just my diamond helmet. I'm not sure if I want it, like how much I want it, just because of the hoglins, because they will attack you if you're not wearing any gold. So that's kind of a bummer, because um, I would like to. But the brutes attack you anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, so that's why I want to have my diamond helmet on me, just in case. And then, let me think... I don't have a whole lot of cobblestone left, so maybe I'll bring these torches along, just because they're different. You know, they kind of stand out, so I can find blocks that I've already placed and kind of go from there. This, um, got a crossbow from a hog, and they attacked me. They saw me open this chest right here, and they started attacking me. I thought we were friends, and then it just didn't work out, I guess. Kind of a bummer. Okay, so I got my sword. I'll leave the flint and steel in here. Bring that along, bring this along. I want my bow. I won't need my axe too much, but I'll bring it along anyway. And I do want this too. I want some blocks. Okay, I'll, I'll put my shovel away for a moment. Okay, let's go take a look and see. Uh, let's see how well and easily we can find this again. So this, this is going to be the complicated part, I think, because it took me so long to find the cave that I was in in the first place. So that's kind of annoying. Who knows, maybe I'll just mine through the wall again and find some ancient debris. I honestly wouldn't be a bad idea. If we, I think I have the coordinates of the, I hope, of the bastion, whatever it's called. I, was, I hear some magma key green. Man, I just feel so much more confident, like, when I'm wearing full diamond armor. I mean, obviously, I don't want to lose it, but you do just feel more confident. It's kind of awesome. Um, okay, yeah. I'll just go find the the bastion, and I'll cut cut to that so you guys... Get some of the exciting part is what I'm, what I'm, what I want you to get, I guess, is from from that. Guess who found another one? Oh yeah, and we were getting. Oh, you can you can maybe hear him. We we're getting so close to the bastion, like it's just on the other side of this wall. Um, so we are super close. So I definitely won't, don't want to take this in with me. Um, and I yeah, I've just been doing the bridge the entire way. So there's two more pieces. That means one ing one ingot. I can make something netherite. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Probably gonna wait until I have like a perfect, perfect sword or perfect, perfect pickaxe or whatever. Because these ones are really good, but I can make them better. And um, I might have mentioned it before, but just with like when you're enchanting things, like I stuck my my iron sword in, and it said it had some really good enchantment. But then I made another diamond sword and tried to go back and enchant it, and it was a different enchantment. That's because certain materials of tools and weapons and things have different like enchant abilities, like levels of enchantness. I believe gold's the highest, but netherite is actually really low, like lower than diamond. So it's better to enchant it while it's diamond and to build your to build your sword and your gear and stuff while it's diamond and then upgrade it to netherite, because once you get it up to netherite, it makes it a lot harder to enchant um, and to craft together and everything like that, just because the enchantments are a lot worse. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see the tunnel I got a little bit here. I'm just gonna run this back, make sure my inventory is all cleared up from all the netherite and stuff I've been mining. Oh man, I did not realize I had that much netherite. And quartz, I gotta tell you, mending is one of the greatest enchantments added to the game like it, it is awesome this diamond pickaxe has been a trooper it has carved through this entire thing and it mines so fast problem is, is that the the durability goes down pretty quick too but whenever you run into a pocket of quartz like you just mine out all the quartz and you just get tons of xp back and it just shoop, shoots it back up to full and then and you're ready to go again um and yeah not much more complicated than that so we're here at the chest um, i'm just gonna load everything off and then we'll jump back into this into the bastion Okay, we are here. Bastion is just right outside there. I've got some stairs going up, kind of sort of to the top. Um, built this little hut here, but I had a great idea. Boom. Respawn anchor. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. I think it's glowstone blocks. Hopefully it doesn't explode. Okay, it is. We'll just fully power that up. Cause that's, yeah. I grabbed some glowstone. I didn't have enough crying obsidian, so I had to run back to the overworld and find that, um, just one of the broken portals that I ran into not too long ago and just mined that out and that was worked great. Okay, respawn point set. I'm glad I actually did that because I would have forgotten. Um, I also want to drop my armor off here. 
I don't know if I'm too interested in bringing that gold along. I'm going to leave my diamond pick. Because I don't plan on doing much bartering with the piglins. Um, the hoglins. Yeah, I'll bring, I'll bring this along. Just stick that down there. Okay. I made some doors. Yeah, respawn point set. Okay, we are good. Let's do this. Let's go take a look. Let's see what we can find. I hope I'm not missing anything. Golden apples, fire resistance potion, food, sword, pickaxe, bow, in case I need it. Not a lot of gear, diamond stuff. I think that's it. I think we're looking okay. Let's see here. Eventually, I would like to kind of cover up these stairs. So it's not all... You know, just out in the open like this. But for now, it does the job well enough, I think. Okay, let's take a look here. Ooh, this is scary. I don't hear any... I don't hear any hoglins, or piglins, excuse me, yet. Let's see if we can mine our way in. Oh, is that some light? Oh, that's lava. Okay, where is that coming from? Okay, whatever. I'm not totally sure where it's flowing to either. How do we get into this place? I don't know if they get mad if I'm breaking blocks. They're blocks. Okay, maybe we'll step back down the stairs a little bit. No, oh, actually, no, my stairs are up here. Go down like right here. Carefully. Okay, it looks like there's kind of an opening down there if I need. Oh, I just gotta watch out for that ghast. Oh, of course you did. Oh, you see there, fella? There, now you can't see me. Ugh. Okay, we'll just keep going. I do want to go very defensively, hopefully to spare my life. How do we get into this place? was was those the blocks i mined yes it was <laughs> well that's frustrating all right i guess we'll just block that up and keep going okay there's some lava but that's a good okay i'm a little confused is this thing just solid brick <laughs> might be I can hear them. I can hear the hoglins. Or piglins. I'm sorry. I keep calling them hoglins. I feel bad about that. Because they're not. They definitely aren't hoglins. Much more civilized creatures. Except for maybe the brutes. <laughs> they're not super kind. Just build a wall for myself here. Okay, that's a lot of lava as well. Okay, here we go. We are in. Let's see, we are two blocks off, so that's that's good. I'm gonna leave a bunch of torches right here so I know how to get out. And we'll use torches to, to mark our path. I think I kinda wanna block that way off first. Okay, just kidding, that goes nowhere. Neither does this. <laughs> Alright, guess we'll keep going forward. Where does this even go to? I've never explored a bastion before, like, in depth. So, I am i don't know how they're built. I don't know what rooms or things there are. I don't know, maybe I should have done some research first before going into it. That probably would have been smart. But, uh, eh, oh well. <laughs> Where's the fun in that, right? Okay, I'm just going to build up some stairs again so we can be kind of on top of that passageway. Just so that way they can't find us or anything. Let's see, that's actually too high. Okay, we'll place some torches around again as well. I'm 
just gonna block that area off. Okay. This structure really has me confused. Like, I feel like it's just solid brick. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Okay, I want to be really careful. I can definitely hear some. Along with lava. Lots of lava. That's got me worried as well. Like, am I just below it all? crossbow. I feel like I did. Where am I gold, right? I don't know why they'd be getting mad at me, but they might be. I apologize. This is taking much longer than I thought it would. There's our first piglin. I think we're chill. But if a brute comes wandering around, I wonder if that'll aggravate him. Okay, there is nothing here. Like, seriously, am I missing something? Like, this structure is huge. But I'm just... Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, hang on. So there's a chest down there. I kind of just need to recalibrate, make sure I still know where I am and how to get back. Because that will be... Well, there goes my pickaxe. Whoop, and there's a ghast. Okay, hang on. I'm just gonna build this up here. I didn't bring a crafting table with me, did I? Because I have to craft another one. Great. Oh, I didn't bring any iron either. That's fine. Whatever, we'll make it work with stone. Yeah, I never mine so fast anyway, so it's fine. Okay, so how do we get down there? That gas is really annoying too. Maybe we can just try mining into the wall. Like I tried to do on the nether survival challenge. It didn't do quite well. down. I like when I'm building a staircase on top of their stairs. It's kind of humorous. Okay, so here's the strat from here. I'm just gonna block myself in with this chest. Hopefully nobody notices. Whoa! Look at all the arrows! Woo! <gasps> and a lodestone! I didn't know you could get those from Bastions. Interesting. Oh, guess I might have to bring a compass in. That would be interesting. Hmm. That's pretty cool, actually. I thought the only way you could get those was from netherite stuff. Guess I stand corrected. Okay, let's see if there's another way to go. Looks like the stairs lead down. Should probably be leaving torches. I mean, if all it's failed, I know to just go up. Climb up and then look around from there. Dang it. Are they getting mad because I opened that chest? I mean, luckily, I could just got a bunch of arrows, so... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. No, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whew. I was a little too close for comfort. <sighs> I'm gonna give my second to heal back. Give myself a second to heal back up. I did not have the blocks I needed for that. That's for sure. You know what? Since they've already noticed, like it's yeah, 
it's just gonna be game on essentially. We'll just go like that. Probably would be smart to just eat a golden apple too. Whew, man, that gets your heart pounding. Especially when you could fall so easily. Man. This is crazy. I do have a lot more arrows though, so maybe I can try to play a lot more defensively. Okay, there's some more chests right here. This is fun though, this is really exciting because you get a lot of good loot for sure. Whoa ho ho ho! These things are loaded! Man, alive. Golden carrots too. I'm impressed, I'm really impressed. I'll leave the swords, I don't need those. String, I mean I guess. Let me think here. Obsidian, I actually don't need obsidian. Gilded blackstone. I guess I'll hang on to just because it's cool. Basalt, I can leave. The chain, I don't need, so that I'll just, yeah, leave it as well. Okay. Check to make sure the coast is clear. We'll do the same thing here. There's just going to be a whole bunch of netherite boxes around. Okay, good crossbow. Oh, the pick step. Okay. Bone box. Interesting. There's a lot of string. I'll have to look what you can do with string because this is quite a bit. Well, I might kind of stop recording from there. If anything big happens, I'll throw in some clips. Um, just kind of like what I did at the beginning of the episode because I want to stop the episode, but I want to, I'm having fun with this. So I apologize to keep on going without you guys, but I think I'm going to do that at least for a couple more minutes because I'm enjoying this and I want to go explore this bastion and get all the stuff that I can. So yeah, if there's not any clips, if there are some clips after this, you'll see them. Stay tuned for that. I'll just go through and do a little voiceover and things like that. But if not, thank you. Well, even if there are clips or even if there's not, thank you so much for watching the this episode. This one was pretty fun. I had some fun with this one. It was nice to get it all worked out in the nether and we got to the bastion. We're still alive, still in one piece, knock on wood. Um, so yeah, thank you, Sabres. Thank you so much for all the support. And if you would like to be part of the Sabres community and, and you know, get notified for these videos, feel free to subscribe and leave a like on the video. I, I very much appreciate that. I really do. It's a small, our small channel, our small little community here, but we're having some fun. And so yeah, if you want to be a part of that, feel free to subscribe. Videos come out now every Saturday. I'm going to switch them. I used to upload on Monday. Now it's going to be Saturday. So watch for another episode of this next Saturday. This is Survival Let's Play World. And yeah, with that being said, see you next week.